In this video, I'm going to show you how to do aggregates in Tableau Prep, and then I'm going to show you a little secret at the very end that most beginners don't know about aggregates. So stay tuned to the very end. And before we begin, be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell because I publish new videos every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. So let's head over to Tableau. All right, I've got a simple data set here. It's in the description below. So just click the link if you want to follow along. And we're just going to load that up. So getting started, like so. And I'm just going to reduce the number of fields we have to deal with just for this example. So let's do row ID, uh, segment, sales, and profit. All right, so just a few fields. Let's add a step. There we go, so we can see all the fields. Now, what we wanna do is we wanna aggregate. So if you're not sure what aggregate means, you've probably done it in Excel, you just didn't know it was called aggregates, but anytime you're doing sum, count, maximum, minimum, uh, average, median, like all those are aggregates, because basically you're taking all these values and you're compressing it down to a single value and you're aggregating it, right? So the way we're gonna do this is I wanna know what the total sales are per segment. Uh, I also want to know what the average profit is per segment and the median profit. So what we can do is we can click this plus button right here and simply click aggregate. All right. And we've got two windows here we're going to be dropping things into. So the first is let's try sales and I'm going to drop that into aggregate. And the default is always sum. And you can see the final result is really just a single value. But I want that split between three segments. So I'm going to bring that segment went, segment field into the grouped fields. And you can see this is now split up. And then we also want to do profit. So I'm going to bring profit in here. And for this one, we can leave it as some, but oh, actually we'll change this to av average, right? So whenever you want to change the type of aggregation, you simply just click this one above here. And you can change it to whatever you want. Let's say average. Now, if for some reason you can't put it in here for your particular data set, make sure your data type is correct. So you can see here I've got a number, right? If it's a string, you cannot aggregate on strings because it's like trying to add words together mathematically. It doesn't work, right? And the last thing we're going to do is I also want median. But what you'll find is, well, I've run out of profit fields to use. So what we do is we go back to clean one and we're just simply going to duplicate that field. So I'm going to right click here, duplicate field, and you'll see profit dash one. It's simply equal to the other one. Go back to aggregate. And now we have a new field that we can use for the median. So I can just grab this, drop it in here. Let's scroll to the right. I can click on this part and simply change it to, oh, hang on. No, 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 wrong one. This one and switch it to median. And before we continue, we're going to rename these. So simply double click. So we'll go median profit, we'll call this total sales, and we'll call this oops, average profit. All right, we're gonna add a step, and that's pretty much it, right? So we've, we've calculated all those values, I can rearrange these just quickly, right? And we've done the aggregates. Now here is the trick, right? A lot of the times when you calculate this, you wanna bring it back into the main data set. Right, because you're either calculating total percentages, uh, percentage calculations, right, or relative values, or whatever it may be, but it does happen all the time. So one thing you can do is this is my big data set before the aggregation, and I want to attach the aggregated results to the very end here, all right? And the way I can do that is simply with a join. So I can take this uh, clean two and actually go backwards in time, right? And you can see I've got the join. And there we go, we have a combined result. And because the field names are the same, it's gonna set that up. Now, if you if you haven't done joins before, that's okay. I've got a video on join, so check the description below for that link, or possibly a card up here that I'll be bringing up uh, near towards the end of the video, if you wanna check that out. And then I'm gonna do a final step. And let's have a look at the final result. So now I can see we don't need this loss segment. That's a duplicate now, All right? So for every row, I've got the total sale values, I've got median, and I've got profit, right? If you enjoyed this video, drop me a like. It helps a lot with the, uh, with the YouTube algorithm. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell because I publish new videos 
three times a week, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. And until then, have a great day. Bye.